Hi, I'm Hayley from Parallel Coaching and in this video I'm going to explain why we need fat in our diet. So what is the function of fat? And this comes up as part of your level 3 nutrition revision. So if you're working towards your level 3 nutrition exam, then this is definitely for you. Also stay around to the very end where I've got a special download for you as well. We have four major uses for the food, for the fats that we consume. So for our dietary fat, one is that we store it and we can store it in our subcutaneous fat. Now subcutaneous fat is the stuff stored just underneath the skin so that when, like in the picture here, when you grab a fold of skin, so a skin fold, you might have done this on some fitness tests within your personal training, for example, um, you do a skin fold measurement, that's also measuring the amount of fat under the skin, so in that subcutaneous layer just underneath the skin. Now, we can use that for energy and we can release it back out of those energy stores. So the reason why we've evolved to be able to be hoarding fat is because we were, our ancestors would have gone through a series of fasts and fam, so famines and feasts, which means they need to be able to store fat so they could retrieve it in times of famine. So it's logical that we actually has still have those genes. We still have that tendency to store fat in case we hit a moment of famine. And we need that storage of subcutaneous fat so we can use it and oxidize it ready for energy use. There are more important things though, not just for fat on top of the body, because you might go, well, I don't need that because I'm not going to famine. <laughs> Try and tell your body that as a result of hormones as well. But there are other things that we need, and that includes the cell membrane. So every single cell in your body has is lined, so the membrane of that, the lining, is actually made up of fat, which means that those people that are low in fat actually really struggle with being able to regenerate new cells and may have problems in relation to fighting off infections as well. The another thing we use it for is uptake and storage of fat-soluble vitamins. We'll come on to this in the vitamin side, but there are some vitamins that are only able to be uptaken by our body and only be able to be stored in fat, which means that as a result, if you don't have enough fat on your body, you actually may well not be able to get the vitamins that you require as well. The other side is that we use it to synthesize other substances. So fat is made of, uh, makes of our cholesterol. So the dietary fat that we eat creates cholesterol and cholesterol and essential fatty acids what create our enzymes, our hormones, everything in our body that then goes on and controls every other part of our body. So you can see that if we don't have dietary fat, that actually we're putting ourselves in quite a bad place. We put ourselves in a place whereby we're not able to uptake vitamins, we're not able to create hormones, we're not able to, to synthesize other substances within the body or get enzymes out there, we're not able to regenerate cells, and we're not able to access any fat on a, a, from a, a utilizing it from an energy point of view. So these four major uses are really important to remember and they're really great talking points when you're talking with your client if they're advocates of a low-fat diet in particular. Now that you've learned all you need to know, let's test your knowledge. So this question is fairly typical of what you might find in a level three nutrition mock exam or the real exam. So it's designed to prepare you. So all I would like you to do is to write your answer in the comments box below this video. So what is a primary function of fat in the body? Is it A, energy? B, form hormones and cell membranes, C, growth and repair, or D, anaerobic energy production. So pop your answer in the comments box below, take your time, pause the video if you need to as well. So the answer to this question is B, that it forms hormones and cell membranes, and you'll remember that we mentioned that in just a moment ago in this video. So energy and anaerobic energy production would come under carbohydrates, and then C, growth and repair, is going to relate to protein intake. So that's where you can kind of use a little bit of elimination when you're looking through your mock questions. And if you'd like to download 50 more mock questions, just like this one, to help you prepare for your level 3 nutrition exam, all you need to do is click the link that is with this video and you'll be able to access 50 mock questions for free. 
We would love to hear from you. So please do pop a comment below. What has been your biggest takeaway from this video? So what's the biggest thing that you've learned that will help you with your level three nutrition revision and preparation for that exam? Pop a little comment in the comments box below and I look forward to reading them and replying shortly. Also, if you've liked this video, make sure you hit the like button, share with your friends and also subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.